Hey there, Nimitz. I'm MC3 Kenneth Blair, and today I'm going to be answering one of the questions you may have about what goes on in the ship. What are all those whistles? Well, I heard the deck department may know something about it, so I'm going to undergo on the great adventure of scouring the deck plates until I can find someone who can answer the question. Why do we do the whistles, and what do they mean? Come on, let's go. All right, I'm with BM3 Andrew Moreno in the sail loft, and he thinks that he can explain the mystery of the whistles on board the ship. So BM3, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. So what's with all the whistles? Uh, well, the, it's actually called piping, and we use it to pass words over the 1MC to the crew. It's called piping. All right, so if you use it to pass word to all of the, sh the crew, then how does it pass word if we don't know what it means? Um, well, it's just basically to get the, the crew's attention to listen to the 1MC. Obviously, it's everyone has to listen to the 1MC, i.e. in case of emergencies. So, BM3, when did we start using the pipes? Uh, we started using uh, the bosun's pipes uh, in the days of sail, like back in the 1700s. It, it actually dates much further back. Uh, back in the day, like, only high-ranking officials like officers of the of the Royal Navy would do it. Admirals and uh, ship's captains would use it to pass words to the crew when when the human voice could not be audible during high weather and people were working aloft in the crow's nest or something. They would use the, the piping to get their attention. Certain calls meant certain things like, hey, it's time to, it's time to go eat. They would pipe a certain call and it was like everyone would stow their gear, go eat. So could you show us and everyone watching aboard the ship what some of the different pipes mean? Sure. So the one that's uh, most frequently heard is uh, attention. So it sounds like... That one is uh, for like short announcements. Like we got uh, cleaning stations going on. We got sea whiz maintenance. Uh, something normal that would have to be uh, passed over the 1MC pretty often. We have uh, all hands for when uh, we begin flight quarters or for when we are getting ready to pipe the captain on board the 1MC and it sounds uh, a little bit longer and it sounds like this. So, what are you doing with your hand? Is that magic? Yes, it is. So, to change the, the pitch of the note when I'm blowing air into the into the reed, so th this right here is the reed, uh, I fluctuate my hand just to change the pitch of the wind that's actually being cut through it. All right, so the secret of the pipes is revealed. My final conclusion, sorcery. All right, I'll see you back in the studio.